Just a second, guys, while I set this up. Okay, so here is a plate that I made once before, and I'm about to ink it. So I have some ink here already from before that I've saved. So right now I'm just warming up the ink. See if I can give you a better view instead of my back. Okay. Sliding the ink up. And basically mashing it back down till it's warm. Again, slide up on the opposite side of the spatula and then press it back down. And I'm going to keep doing this for a little while. Until it gets to be about the consistency of honey. Right now it needs to drip off the knife. Slowly, it still needs a little bit more. Now I'm going to break out my roller and roll the ink out onto the glass here. I prefer using rollers because it makes the ink go a long way and less chance of scratching. 
And here, I'm gonna roll it on. Actually, this. Let me choose a different one because this one needs to be cleaned a little bit first. First. Let's try this one. I haven't printed this one yet. This is just going to be a test image. Right now I'm just trying to get a complete coverage of the ink. This is a, an 11 by 14 inch plate. So it takes a lot of ink. This is Okay, trying to get it in there and roll it on different directions. Probably could use more ink here. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Basically on my table here, I have a little ruler that I tape to it. And I run a three inch bead. One, two, three of them. That's going to be enough. Okay. Then I take some easy wipe. Just three small dots the size of a pea. Two, and I am using a bone black ink from Graphic Chemical. I tend, when I start a series, to just stick with one color. That's it. Keep it simple and consistent. Right now I'm just mixing it all together. Move the roller out of the way. Making sure everything's blended in nicely. I slide it underneath and then push it back down. So it should kind of run like more like molasses or honey. You can see it kind of dripping off the knife. Smash it back down. Roll it out. There we go. Yeah, much better. There we go. Make sure I get it in everywhere. You can tell when it's you can tell by the sound when it's ready of the ink rolling over it. 
Now, I also keep my tartalin in a plastic bag that's been used. I have two. Now, this particular way of doing it, I've been doing it after watching John Lybrook uh, in his videos on their website, Intaglio uh, Printing, I think it is. No, Intaglio Editions. Com. So I have it up in a, in a small ball, tightly packed. I'm going to slap it down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is push down and twist. I'm kind of pushing the ink into the plate, into the deep recesses of the plate. Okay, switch to another part. I use two different rags because this one's been used before, so it gets dirty very fast. So I use one just for this part, and then one for kind of closer to the final wipe. Okay, now I'm going to do it the opposite direction with less pressure. Doing a plate this size is a lot of work. You can really feel it in your arms. I'm kind of doing it in a twisting motion and lifting off. Okay. I'm going to do it again. Just look for a clean spot. Roll it up into a ball. Now I'm just kind of lightly hitting it. Going back and forth in different directions, making sure I get, every, get it everywhere. This is a photo from my Willits Point series that I've been working on for the last five, six years now. I don't know how this image will turn out. I haven't actually printed this one yet. So the other thing I do is I have a lot of scrap paper and I wanna get rid of the old dirty paper before I wipe. So I'm not just pulling more ink back into it. Okay. And now I'm going to hit it with this one. This already has a little ink on it. But that's okay. And very slowly rubbing it in and off. Trying to use more of my wrist than my elbow. But well, that's not always easy. Sometimes you just kind of out of habit. I do it very delicately. I'm not pushing down at all. I'm just kind of letting the 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 tarlatan wipe over the print. Now most of the ink, you should be able to see something after the initial wipe with the other tarlatan. That's when you know, when you can start seeing underneath it when the, to kind of switch to a more different type of wiping and, and removing of the ink rather than say pushing it into the recesses. I'm going to find a clean spot. Now, just light, very lightly going over it, picking up ink.
at this point, most of the image is off. I can, uh, most of the ink is off the image. I can still see, I can see most of the image. And what I'm looking for now, right now as I rub the Tarleton, I can feel it kind of sticking and that's when I know I need to move to a different piece. And also, you know, when you stop seeing the ink moving around on the plate and the highlights mostly, that's when you know that you're done with the Tarleton. Okay, I think we're done with the Tarleton. Now, I'm gonna go for the final wipe with newsprint. I have a local paper here that luckily has um, free newspapers that are pretty much perfect for this size. Okay, and then I usually go through about three sheets of newsprint, but being that this is larger, it takes a little bit more. See, there's still a little bit of ink on that. So I'm going to keep wiping. And again, you kind of know when to stop, when you feel it starting to, to stick and not slide so easily over the, the print, over the plate itself. I also use almost no pressure when I do this. So I'm just lightly going over it. Okay. So I'm just going to Take the plate and just kind of clean the edges slightly. I'm not going crazy because it's just a test print. But I just don't want too much excess ink everywhere. Okay. Let's flip this over. Just an old rag, I'll just kind of grab it by the edge. Actually, easier to do this without the gloves. Again, I'm just trying to get most of the excess, excess ink off the very edge of the plates so they don't, it doesn't end up all over my press bed. I'm not trying to get a perfectly clean border and spend a lot more time cleaning the edges. Or just don't have a border is another option. But even then you still need to wipe it just a little bit so that it doesn't smear into the print. Okay. So that's pretty much ready. And I'll show you. Let's see. OK. 
Okay. So that's basically the print itself, or the plate itself inked, ready to go. I'm using jet polymer plates, so they're kind of a, the way you usually can tell the difference between the jet and the Toyobo is the jet plates tend to have a bit more of a yellowish tone to them. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my press. First, I'm going to switch the bed around for a second. So bear with me. This way you can see it when it comes out of the press. around I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean my press bed So I have my paper, and I'm using, today I'm using Hamanamalua, however you pronounce it, uh, copper plate. I'm going to soak it in water for about a minute or two. It doesn't really need much. And then... These are what I use to pick the paper up with. Um, basically, it is aluminum flashing that I cut. And then I put a little bit of um, electrical tape at the ends to kind of grab onto the paper. Just going to turn down the brightness a little bit. And then once the paper is ready, I have some blotting paper here. And I'm picking it up out of the water and letting it drip a little bit. And what I do is I flip to the other side to let it drain that way as well. Okay. Take the 
paper, put it in between the blotting. And then I use a rolling pin. So the, the less my hands touch the papers and the blotting and things of that, the less I have a chance of contaminating it with ink because that drives me nuts. Okay, so now the paper is here. And what I'm testing now for, I have a little device that I use that tells me the water density. And basically what I'm looking for is anything under 30. And I place it on the paper. Right now, paper is probably a little, little drier than I would like, but it's good enough. So I'm going to put the paper on. And then I have two sheets of paper that I put over it. For this size, I'm using a, this board here. I think it's about 90 pound. And this will go directly over the watercolor paper, the Hamanalua. It's a nice, smooth, heavy paper. Not too expensive, like watercolor paper with sizing and all that other stuff. It's just a simple bristle board. And then a sheet of newsprint or cheap paper. And this is more to keep the blankets clean. Although usually I don't have too much of a problem with that. Okay, so now we're gonna pull it through the press. And you wanna do this all at once and not stop until it's all, you can feel, right now it just kicked in, I can feel the plate as I pull it through, because it gets much harder to pull. And as it comes through, you keep going until you get all the way to the other side. Otherwise you'll leave marks in there or something in the plate. In the print, I mean. And there we go. You can kind of see what happens when you don't wipe it well enough. But that's basically it. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll put this up. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll hopefully I'll have more in the next few days. Thanks again.